Baruch Shem Kevod, Malchut Olam Ba'ed. Blessed be His glorious kingdom forever and ever. Shalom, shalom, Mishpachati, my family. Hallelujah. So great to be here with you again. It is the 15th day of Adar, which is the 12th month of the Hebrew calendar, year 5,775, corresponding to March 6, 2015. Hallelujah! It is a cold, cold, quarterly old, cold day here in uh, Pennsylvania. And we are back, myself, again, Rabbi Binyamin Levi Al-Kohen, with the Queen Adira. And we're here again for another season to kick it off, get it started. For April 19th begins a great, great project that we're doing together as a community. And as we are getting ready for that, you know, this week uh, is also coincides with the commemoration or celebration, if you will, of Purim. And quickly remembering what Purim was about during a time as we as a nation was in exile. Was in exile, yes. Uh, under the Greek rule. And we had some pioneers, or some powerful people such as Mordecai and Hadassah, great woman and strong man, who made a difference in the lives of all of us as we seek to get courage, uh, inspiration from that story yet even today. As I'm sure some of you may have participated in the, in the balls and the, the events, the masquerades and so forth. Uh, but let us be clear on the point, the message that we should be receiving for that. That even when we're in a time of trouble, in that case, being under a foreign rulership and government, how do we survive? How do we overcome? Hadassah, in her courage, as you recall, or Queen Esther, as she was referred to, she gave forth her life to save the nation. Israel, which was plotted by, as you remember, the, the wicked, wicked Haman, <laughs> Rose Old Gregors, right? The wicked Haman who sought to destroy us as a people. This is very similar to a lot of the context that we see ourselves here in America and all over the world today with the discussion about do black lives matter? And the same principle, same thought. Again, is Israel through Hebrews? They were those who sought to annihilate us, to eliminate, to exterminate us. Do our lives matter? And do we still exist today? So I don't want to paint a really rosy, rosy picture for you today. Like everything is great and wonderful, which we are thankful for the breath of life the Most High has given us. But as we start to look forward and getting into again to the high holiday season of Pesach, of passing over, as we say each year, we're trying to pass and make things better than they were the year before. So this is what we ask as we join together, wherever you are, that this project we're talking about, I think is very important. Because in the face of oppression, in the face of, if you will, sure, death, as Hadassah, you know, had to make a stand in life of, of, of pacing what was, a, what was a, upon our people. Can you make a difference? And yes, every one of our lives matter, and each of us can make a difference where you are. We're talking about redemption. We're talking about the salvation of our people. How do we get there? We know it's not going to happen overnight. We've been exiled now for over 2,000 years. So we're constantly striving and trying to do different things. And I'm, I'm happy to see the momentum, to see the move, movement in our community all over. Many are doing different great work. And we all need to do that in your respective areas. 
So one thing as we are coming to you again with this build your own garden is a very powerful very, but simple concept again of redemption that we throughout the diaspora scattered wherever we may find still have a commonality that we can come together and no, nothing greater than what taking back control of our food this is the mission of this project here uh, that you see you have some wonderful teachers Murakui Nadira gave an excellent lesson we spoke about earlier starting your garden indoors and we're going to be going outdoors we got seven weeks before April 19th so we're getting you you know if you will pumped up and inspired to do this but remember this is a community effort we want everyone to join join with your neighbor Join with your friends. Encourage others. Go to the web, the website, the, the, the Facebook page we have. I've created called Build Your Own Garden. Just join up, join, join in, and invite your friends. It's, it's just a growing movement, as we can see, and it's global. And so, I want everybody to be a part of that. That we are again united. Yes, sorry to say, we are still in many ways exiled. We're yet not fully united together as a as a nation, we're striving for that. This is just one way, one method of keeping us united and we're growing stronger, especially if we can collectively, wherever we are, take back control of our foods and work collectively within our various communities. Again, it's gonna strengthen the bonds. That's what the hope, my prayer is of our families. Bring your children. Get them involved with all these, these lessons that we're going to be bringing you. Involve your children. Involve your spouse. Involve your neighbor. Involve the members of your congregation. This has to be a collective effort we're talking about because why? Just as in Adasa and Mordechai, we're trying to win back the favor of the Most High. That is the focus here. It is a primary. We can do nothing without the favor of the Most. How do you do that? Of course, by being obedient to His Torah, His commandments, His statutes and judgment. And nothing greater than that is again putting your hand back into the soil, the source of what. If you understood the power and understand the magnitude that is right underneath your feet. Don't miss the opportunity. There's gold, if you will. There's riches underneath your feet that will break the shackles, the chains that's holding us back as a people. So, family, I love you. I want to encourage you. I'm here for you. You're going to be seeing more of these videos. But we want to start this new season off on a high note as we come into the high holy day season. So let's go. April 19th, mark your calendar. Sign up on Facebook. We're moving. Until next time, Shalom Uvraka.